Don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit. So welcome back to the Finance Value Guy. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at price of Dogecoin and the price of uh, cryptos all in general. So as you guys can see right here, let's just refresh the page. Um, basically, right now we're at an interesting point for cryptocurrencies. Okay, and I have an interesting prediction that I think you're all going to want to hear because cryptocurrencies are definitely going to be heading in a very interesting direction. Now, obviously, you're here for Dogecoin and that's going to be the main focus of the video. But first, we need to take a look at the entire market. So as you guys see right now, the entire Time market seemingly is somewhat red okay and interestingly enough okay dogecoin is pretty much one of the only cryptocurrencies that is up um at this current point in time now i personally okay um right now i think i'm possibly expecting you know something which i'm going to get into in a little bit but right now okay things aren't going anywhere out of the normal and i'm going to show you the charts okay the charts from my previous videos um and how they're holding up right now so if we firstly go on the dogecoin chart okay if i go on the dogecoin chart that i posted that's not one that's this very old one um posted this chart 21 hours ago okay you guys can see that um you know this is before i've you know before the data has been processed as you guys can see right here um, i've got my strong resistance line right here this is the red line and this basically shows the overall downtrend and then i've got the yellow line which shows the overall downtrend for dogecoin okay now as you guys can see right here uh, what we do have is we do have a situation where if you click play you can see Okay, the Dogecoin has played off these lines very interestingly, okay? We've had a situation where Dogecoin broke through this first red resistance line, which is interesting. And that was um, it was pretty bullish for me because what we did see, okay, is we did see a bunch of green candles. So I expected that to go through. It continues to go through. And of course, as soon as it hit this yellow area, which is somewhat the bull zone, of course, we had a retracement. Now, if you are paying attention to these charts, okay, the reason this I found this so interesting is because what we did have, okay, is if we look one of the main defining factors okay on where the crypto market is heading um if we look at bitcoin okay um if i look at my old chart if i always let me just keep control f bitcoin okay let's go here if we go onto this chart you guys can see okay if actually we go back because this chart um was one that i drew ages ago you guys can see on june the 22nd i drew this um and you guys can see that we played off this line very very well here you guys can see this is a four hour chart and you guys can see that if we look right here we did get a rejection on my yellow line right there so right on the yellow line we got a rejection which is what i was expecting because i expected bitcoin to just kind of play in this range until we get a confirmed move up or down now of course there can be breakouts to either side but like you know like we've seen here there was a breakout to this side there was a breakdown to you know this side but the main trend is still trading inside of this triangle now of course people are predicting that you know by the time we get down to the end of this triangle there's going to be a major move and that move is going to be up or down now of course that kind of information doesn't really help you like you know we know it's going to move up or down but at least you know that you know where and when you know what kind of price action you can see and expect from the price so you can be like okay well this is what i expected so when i saw okay yesterday bitcoin get rejected on this yellow line that is when I knew, okay, in the price of Dogecoin, we were going to get a rejection because if Bitcoin doesn't pull higher, then we all know that a lot, a lot of the cryptocurrencies aren't going to be pulling higher as well. And what we also see now is we see Dogecoin. Okay, I don't know why it just brought me off the chart, but we also see Dogecoin if we click play. Okay, I don't know where this is. Um, don't know where this is. Okay, let's go back. If you also click play, if I zoom into this, um, if I can just zoom into this chart, you guys can see, okay, that we're kind of getting a bounce on this line right here, which is really, really nice. So we're getting a bounce on this line right here. So I think if Dogecoin does stay in this area here, this area is not too bearish at all. This is like, this is a good area where we want Dogecoin to be. As long as we can stay in this area, bounce around in this area, that's going to be good. Because if we bounce around in that area, all we need to do to flip bullish is to get on this yellow line. Because this yellow line is historically where the trend um the upward trend could possibly start um and as you guys can see we haven't really had any major move outside of this yellow line since 6th of june literally since 6th of june we haven't had any major move and that was one move now of course it looks like a fake breakout okay and you know if this is going to be a breakout which continues what i am expecting if the uptrend continues which i don't i don't think it is right now because bitcoin got pulled back um what we would see okay is you would see a test on this line and then further continuation okay that is what we would see if you're if you're a bull right now you're expecting dogecoin to hover on this line and then go through right here okay me i'm not too much of a bullish just yet simply because we have all the factors okay that have told us that we are in a bear market at least temporarily right now things can change rapidly in the crypto market so just pay attention for that and um yeah so right now okay if i just actually go on this chart um yeah so if we go on this chart as you guys can see right here um one of the things that on, the, on our recent video you know a lot of people were saying that this was the bottom it what well, i don't want to say that overall it was but of course in the, in the bottom of this trend this is definitely the bottom because what we did have we did have a a cup he, cup head not cup head actual a you know i talked about in this previous video i talked about how we had you know 
head and shoulders reversal band and this is usually the bottom now of course if you um, have this right here if you do that okay basically that what that is uh, you guys can't even see that because of the color there we go make that yellow and basically what that basically shows us is that shows us the neckline and the neckline basically you know it's going to be the confirmation of the uptrend now for those of you thinking oh my god we missed a dip we missed a dip guys overall okay dogecoin is still in a downtrend so for example you know we did have a similar you know cup and handle formation small one really really small one right here where dogecoin did go up but as soon as it got near to the yellow line it went back down as you guys can see overall you know the trend was still down so you know dogecoin overall okay in the coming weeks still could trade lower than this level we do know this so you shouldn't think wow we missed a dip it's gonna go higher the way how is we know it if it's gonna go higher okay is we want to see if it's gonna play off this red line or come underneath if we get you know um, you know resistance at this red line and you know we see that okay we're starting to use this red line as a sort of you know bullish zone and we start trading above this area we start trading in this area and then start floating around this area then we can become more bullish especially if bitcoin also okay and let me see the bitcoin chart especially if bitcoin starts trading closer to this line and starts trading around this area too then I would say that we can get a little bit more bullish. Not entirely because we're still below the 21 weekly MA. There's still a lot of factors that have shown us that this bear market has started. So you still have to be quite very careful. Now, one thing that I don't do is I don't try to catch a falling knife. That is something that, you know, you're going to hear a lot of the time. Okay, but you should have, okay, if you are someone that is long-term on Dogecoin, you should have your buy zones and you should have your sell zones. So um, for me personally right now, okay, you know, right in this area right here, since if you believe this is a bear market, this is the area where I believe Dogecoin is probably going to have some pullbacks. And then, you know, the closer we get to this pink line is, you know, it's going to be closer to the buying zone. Okay, so that's like the range that we're playing in now. Similar for Bitcoin, that the range that the majority of people are playing is that they're buying down here and they're selling up here. That is the range that the majority of people are playing until the overall trend changes now overall dogecoin so far is still in the downtrend we know that it's still in the downtrend because so far um you know if we look at what has been happening over the last you know ever since june the 6th we know that dogecoin has just simply gone down and it hasn't really broken resistance at all we haven't broken resistance at all of course we had this major fall off we had this v-shaped recovery which is nice but you guys can see that so far it looks like we're still headed down so overall my prediction for dogecoin okay um you know going into you know the next week going into the couple of days um, i would say that if bitcoin cannot successfully break out of this upwards okay and this is the chart that we need to watch if bitcoin cannot successfully go up here and continue to trade in this wedge what we're going to be seeing okay is we're going to be seeing dogecoin okay realistically trade in this area here dogecoin is going to be trading in this area here still all whilst heading down okay now of course there's going to be some times where dogecoin dips to here and then it's probably going to dip up and then people are going to start to get bullish again and as it goes down people get bearish it's just simple market psychology it's just noise all of it right now is just noise just pay attention to the overall trend right now which is as you guys can see from here to here it's just completely down okay and even as you know people got down here people got super scared as you guys can see here people got super bullish but um i just know okay that the data and the charts are going to tell you exactly what is happening so um i would say that right now we're in a situation where we're not too bullish we're still i wouldn't say overall too bearish but we're in a situation where we can't say that you know the bull market is back until bitcoin i guess you could say convincingly breaks out of this um test 42k um and breaks out now um, i'm still gonna be watching the wyckoff chart i do believe that that is some hopium because we've seen too much information that shows us that you know we're still in the bear market um i'm just saying that be on the side of caution right now because you know we're definitely on the side okay of where bitcoin could definitely head lower um and of where the side where bitcoin could um you know shake out some 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 more um altcoin drops and remember remember that dogecoin is one of the most volatile cryptos in the space right now okay so when dogecoin drops it's going to drop hard and when it moons it's going to moon a lot harder than other cryptos so i would definitely pay that into attention right now i'm still not buying or selling because i haven't seen any major patterns form this pattern here definitely did form once we broke this red line i could have bought here but it wasn't really an insane gain i'm not too keen on trading cryptos right here but this is definitely something you know if we do have a situation where we test this line and we move up and i can see a clear wedge forming then maybe i may enter a position again Again, right now in a bear market i'm not going to be exactly trading a lot so right now you guys can see right here what we have is a situation where the price of dogecoin okay most likely the key levels the numbers that we're going to be talking about is we need to see dogecoin hover right around 24 to 20 we, we, we kind of want to you know hover around 25 to 26 cents if we can stay around that area that would be pretty decent okay if we can stay around that area that would be pretty decent um and it looks like also okay that what i do want to see as well okay is this the two hour chart um i do want to see if dogecoin is gonna you know 
um, and maintain this slight uptrend as well because as you guys can see right here if we draw that line you can I guess, see that dogecoin has had a slight uptrend and it looks like maybe we're breaking that maybe we're going to test that line right here that is going to be something as well so if we probably break this line as you guys can see multiple multiple tests on this line multiple multiple tests and that's the first candle underneath so i'm thinking to myself you know if dogecoin um can stay above that line i don't know why trading view glitches like that like it makes no sense if dogecoin breaks through this line and breaks through the red line then definitely expect to move down and it's all about support and resistance lines guys if dogecoin you know if it stays above the support line tests it and moves higher you know uptrend is kind of confirmed but if it's uh you know um, you know, I sound very confusing. I realize it's probably not helping you. But the point I'm trying to make right now is that um, the point I'm trying to make, okay, is that right now, um, as long as Dogecoin can stay around like 25, you know, 26 cents, as you guys can see on these lines, hopefully we can get bullish again. And as long as Bitcoin can hopefully, okay, you know, somehow i don't even know how it's gonna do it because it just got rejected okay stay around the 35 36 move towards 40,000, then we can get bullish but as long as dogecoin continues on this downtrend i am not gonna get bullish again because that is just what you know um the graph is showing me so with that being said um hopefully today's video was somewhat helpful on navigating the crypto world um and i'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next awesome video